A while ago, I did this video reacting to the 10 most difficult pieces to play on piano. Now, the video that I originally reacted to was apparently the 10 pieces that people think are the most difficult and not necessarily the hardest ones to play. And I kind of agree with that because the pieces did sound impressive, yet they're not the most challenging to learn as a player. There are lots more harder pieces. So in today's video, I'm going to react to another video from the same YouTube channel, which is the most insane pieces. So let's do it. I believe this one was in his 10 most difficult piano pieces to play video and it's one of Chopin's many etudes all of which are designed to be very difficult. actually learn this at some point because it's one of the ones that I haven't actually learned ever. Yeah, the good thing about a lot of Chopin music is it's usually quite pattern based, so it kind of makes sense and therefore it fits under the fingers quite nicely. Flight of the Bumblebee, another one that was in the last one. This is one that I have learned a little bit a long time ago. It's another one that's quite pattern based, so once you've learned a little bit of it, you can kind of play a lot more than you think. Moonlight Sonata Movement 3. It's very fun to play, and a tip for anyone that wants to learn this, it's all in the wrist when you play these four note broken chords, because it kind of goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you need to like move in waves. And then you can just speed it up. I mean, with all Beethoven pieces, the chord structure is so nice because it's kind of very classical and dramatic, but it's got like volume. Because Beethoven was known for having music that's quite juxtaposing, where there's like a quiet bit and then a loud bit suddenly. Another one that I've never learned, but the first bit seems pretty easy. It's just a chromatic scale, then an A minor chord. These pieces just highlight how important it is to learn the technical skills, so scales and arpeggios. Because once you've learned your scales and your arpeggios, you've kind of done a lot of the hard work to learn these pieces. Once again, even those high bits are all kind of pattern based. You've got the right hand just kind of going with the left hand going in between. So it's probably not as complicated as it sounds. I do like Ratmaninoff, you can always tell Ratmaninoff pieces because they're very heavy and very chordal. The opening for this, very deceiving. This one is tough just trying to get the same note played multiple times. Thank you. 
It's a pretty epic piece, but once again, I don't think any of these are the hardest pieces or the most insane pieces to play. If you play piano or you think that a particular piano piece is the hardest to play, then let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make my own definitive hardest piano pieces to play. And if you haven't seen my first video reacting to the 10 most difficult piano pieces to play, then head on through and I will see you there.